Hey everybody, Captain Beanard back here with another Wi-Fi battle. So, today we have a battle against Frosty, another random person offline. So, as you can see, I am using the same team that I've been using the past few games. Uh, looking at the opponent's team, it looks to be pretty powerful. Um, pretty interesting combination there for sure. So, what do I want to lead with is the question... And I think we're going to go with the Mew, actually. And we'll see how that works out. <clears throat> Alright, so it looks like she's going to lead with the Shuckle. So, that's kind of eh. Because um, Shuckle's kind of eh. So, um, I think right off the bat, we're just going to go Volt Switch on this thing, get some chip, and um, yeah, that's what we're going to do, and the pivot, so we don't do too much to this thing, just get a little bit of chip, and then we're going to get the switch, of course, so uh, what do we want to come in with here? Um, I think we'll go ahead and come in with the Aerodactyl, actually, we'll go for that. So there it is, and uh, we have the pressure coming into play, and so she's going to go sticky web, uh, just get those hazards set up, kind of figured that was going to happen. Um, so yeah, uh, I think we're just going to go stone edge this time around, plan on getting rid of those hazards later, just need to get rid of this thing. So there's a stone edge, we don't miss, and that is actually um, enough to just go ahead and get rid of that shuckle outright, so that is pretty great, that is going to knock her down to five, so... Not a bad start for us. So she's going to go ahead and come in with Cloyster then. So, um, yeah, I don't really want this thing to set up on me. So um, I also don't want to miss a Stone Edge. So I think we're actually just going to go Earthquake here on this thing. Um, and so, yeah, we do outspeed for sure. And Earthquake is not going to do a ton, honestly. Uh, just going to take it down by about a quarter. This thing's going to Icicle Spear, okay. So, um, yeah. <clears throat> that is going to take us out with three shots for sure, unfortunately. So yeah, that'll be the end of Aerodactyl, and that'll drop us down to five. So that kind of sucks, but um, definitely couldn't risk letting that thing set up on us. So um, yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and come in with the Mew once again here. So we could defog the webs away, but I think, uh, well, we do get the speed reduction off the webs. So I don't really think that's a pressing matter right now, so we're just going to go ahead and Aura Sphere, um, try and take this thing out. And so she's not going to stay in, so she's going to switch, and she's going to switch into Electivire, hoping to catch us on with an electric move. Uh, but we do just Aura Sphere, so that's good. And that is going to take this thing down by about a third, so not great. Um, so this time around, I think we're actually just going to go Psychic. Um, yeah, so that's what we're going to do. Uh, she's going to go Rock Slide, so probably predicting a switch there. Um, so that's not going to do too much to us. And uh, she just takes some Life Orb Recoil damage. We're going to Psychic in return. And it is not quite enough, unfortunately, to get rid of the Electivire there. So that kind of sucks. She just barely survives that as we get some HP back with the Leftovers. So I think this time around, um, we're actually going to go Defog. We're going to review reveal Mew's last move here, because if she attacks, which it looks like she is, going to go Thunderbolt, and that's going to take us down to a little below half, but the Life Orb Recoil is going to take her out uh, as anticipated, so that's going to knock her down to four, and then we're going to go ahead and get the Defog off. Oh, but yeah, the um, since there's nothing there, unfortunately, uh, the Defog is not going to work. So <clears throat> there's that. So, um, yeah, now she's going to go ahead and come back in with the Cloister. So I think um, this time around we're just going to Volt Switch. Uh, no reason not to. She's actually going to outspeed and go Icicle Spear. And uh, I assume this thing is Skill Link. So it looks like it's going to be close. Um, whether or not we can survive. Can we survive? It is really close. And yes, we can with 10 HP. In the red, we do get the survive, so that is nice. And then we're going to Volt Switch, which is just going to go ahead and take out the Cloister. So that is nice. 
that is going to knock her down uh, to three, and then we do get the pivot. Um, so the only bad thing about that is she is going to get to choose a matchup against us. So I think um, we're just going to go ahead and come in with the Roserade, actually. So there it is. And uh, we do get the speed reduction off the sticky web. So uh, we'll see what she wants to come in with here in response. So it is going to be the Milotic. Um, so that's eh, not terrible, I guess. Um, so yeah, I think um, at this point, not 100% sure what I want to do, but I think actually we just want to go ahead and get some Toxic Spikes up, because why not? So we're just going to do that. So this thing does outspeed, that sucks. She's going to go Ice Beam, and is going to take us down by about a third. Um, we do survive, obviously go for the Toxic Spikes, so we get that lair set up on her, and uh, we do get some HP back with the Leftovers. So, um, we could, I think we can just stay in here and Giga Drain, actually. We should take another Ice Beam, though not very well. Um, she's going to go for it again, and that is going to knock us to about a quarter, but we do survive once again, and we're going to Giga Drain this time, and that is going to not quite be enough to take this thing out, dropping it into the red, and we do get a bunch of HP back from that, um, and we are going to regain some more HP with the leftovers as well. So I think... Uh, we're just going to stay in here again, um, and we're just going to, this time around, uh, Sludge Bomb in case she decides to try and switch. Um, but no, she's going to go Safeguard, so um, that's interesting. She would have that on deck, so um, we're just going to Sludge Bomb to take this thing out. Uh, so that is going to knock her down to two, and then we are going to get some HP back with the leftovers once again. So, looking pretty solid. <laughs> so... <clears throat> we'll see what she wants to bring in next. Definitely running low on options. So it is going to be the Driftblum. So, um, not sure really what this thing is planning. Um, but, hmm, don't really want to take a hit with Roserade actually right now um, because of what her last Pokemon is. So I think we're just going to go ahead and switch Mew in as fodder basically since we don't have much HP left on that. So we are just gonna do that. And uh, we do get the speed reduction off the sticky web. And then she is just gonna go for a shadow ball. And from that range, that will definitely finish off our Mew. So that is gonna go ahead and knock us down to four, but that is okay. So at this point, we are just gonna go ahead and come in with the Snorlax. So, there it is. And we do get the speed reduction off the sticky web. Definitely doesn't matter since we're already incredibly slow. Um, and we are just going to go crunch here, actually. So, um, she's going to stay in and go stockpile. So, that's not great. So, she's going to get a, a defense and special defense increase there. So, that's not good. Um, we are going to get a crunch in return. And that is only going to take her down by about a quarter, so that's not great. So I think this time we're going to have to change it up and go yawn, um, since she looks like she's definitely going to be playing the long game here. So, um, yeah, she's going to stockpile again, so that sucks. Going to raise the uh, defenses once again. So we do get the yawn, and, uh, oh yeah, she does have safeguard up, so um, I forgot about that, <laughs> so that sucks. Um, yeah, so that's unfortunate. Um... So yeah, I guess I think we're just going to stay in here and crunch again, because uh, why not? So unfortunately, she's just going to keep stockpiling, which could definitely be a problem. Uh, going to stockpile up to three for another defense and special defense boost. We do crunch again, and it's not going to do much. It is going to take her to about half. Safeguard is going to go down, which is good. So I think now we're definitely going to yawn once again. And um, she's going to Strength Sap, so that's definitely not good. So going to drop our attack stat and gain a bunch of HP back. So yeah, that's definitely not good. So we're going to go ahead and yawn. So that is going to uh, make this thing fall asleep next turn if she chooses to stay in. 
So I think we're definitely not going to want to stay in here. And I think we're just going to go ahead and come in with the Roserade. Actually, we're going to come back in with that since we know more of her set and we know her last one. So yeah, indeed she's not going to stay in. I'm going to go ahead and switch to the Breloom. And she's going to get poisoned off the Toxic Spikes. So uh, we also as well switched over to the Roserade. So that's good news for us. And uh, we do get the speed reduction off the Sticky Web though. And then we do get some HP back with the Leftovers. So, um, yeah, this thing did not take uh, poison damage. So that means we know that it is a poison heal. So that kind of sucks. But at least that's... Good information so we're just gonna go sludge bomb on this thing um, and she's not gonna stay in with it so uh, that's not great but uh, she's gonna come back in with the drift bloom and so we're gonna get a sludge bomb on this thing and it's gonna do about a third so that's not terrible damage and then we do regain uh, almost the rest of our HP with the leftovers so I think at this point we have to just stay in here and go shadow ball trying to get as much damage on this thing as possible um, she is going to get a Strength Sap, though, so um, that actually does work on us, which sucks. So, um, going to get some HP back from that and cut our attack, which doesn't matter. But we're going to Shadow Ball in return, and that is going to take her down to about a quarter, um, which is really good damage for us. Um, and then we do get the rest of our HP back with the Leftovers. So, um, Roserade in a pretty decent spot here. Gonna just Shadow Ball again, no reason not to. So, uh, she's gonna Strength Sap again, um, dropping our attack once again, and trying to gain up enough HP back to survive. Uh, I don't know if she did, that's gonna be close. Uh, she's back up to about two-thirds. So we Shadow Ball again, and from that range that is enough to take down the Drift Bloom, so that's great news for us. That's gonna knock her down to just one. So, uh, Roserade putting some great work in here. So the last one is the Breloom. So, um, we're definitely gonna just stay in here and go Sludge Bomb once again, no reason not to. And it'll really depend on what kind of set she's rocking with this thing. We know this thing is gonna be Poison Heal, um, so possibly a more bulky variation, but it's gonna depend on what her moveset is how this plays out. So she's definitely thinking about this one. And so she's gonna go substitute, okay. So gonna take some damage to put the sub out. And we are just gonna sludge bomb. So that will definitely be enough to break the sub for sure. Indeed it does. So then she is going to get some HP back with the Poison Heal. So um, this is going to be quite the long game to play here at this point if she wants to go that road. Um, we're just going to go ahead and keep clicking Sludge Bomb, no reason not to. Um, she is going to lose more HP than she gains every turn if she wants to play the Substitute game. Um, so I don't know what else she can do besides that. Um, so she's just going to Swords Dance here. <laughs> So, um, realizing that she's not going to stall us out with the Substitute Poison Heal game, so we're going to Sludge Bomb, and that is going to be enough with a critical hit there. I don't think that mattered since we are max special attack, but that is going to get rid of the Breloom, and that is game, and that is a Rage Quit as well. So, um, but that is fine because we just won anyway, so cool. <laughs> there it is. Alrighty. So, we are going to get a 4-0 victory there. Um, versus uh, Frosty, I believe it was. But, yeah. Um, really good match, actually. Very competitive, despite the uh, Rage Quit at the end there. But, um, that is what a lot of people tend to do here on uh, Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Lots of um, Ubers and lots of rage quitting so far here on uh, the Wi-Fi battling, but we try to keep all of that off the channel for you guys as much as possible and just give you the good stuff. So, uh, but yeah, like I said, uh, still a good competitive match nonetheless. So, 
Uh, that's it. Thanks for watching again, everybody. Hope you all enjoyed. Please hit that like button, leave a comment, and or subscribe if you did enjoy, and stay tuned for more new battles in the future. So that's it, and we'll see you next time.